So this is for a pure rotational motion. Now I'm going to start by example six, which is about a general plane motion. <clears throat> so in example six, I have here a general plane motion. A general plane motion means I have a translational motion as well as a rotational motion, right? How to know that this is a general plane motion? Because in fact, as you can see, C is moving in translational motion while A is fixed. And then this one, when, when C is moving uh, downward, then A, B, and B, C will experience some rotation, right? So C is moving downward. If I take another color and just uh, draw it at an, an, any other instance, so C will be here. And then this means that this will be BC, and this means that this will be AB. All right? And this means, guys, that AB is doing this rotation, BC is doing this rotation, and then VC is doing this translation. What I want you guys to know is that the angular velocity is always, as a vector, is always perpendicular to the plane, all right? Which means since I have here a plane motion, so I have an x, y, then omega will always be in a plus or minus k because it's perpendicular to x, y. So in vector, it's in plus or minus k. You can guess, guys, if it is plus or minus k, or you can keep it omega k. And then if you have a negative answer, then this will be in minus k. If you have a positive answer, then this will be in plus k. How to guess if it is in plus or minus k? For example, if you take BC, right? BC is moving in this direction. So this is the uh, uh, direction of omega, right? And I know that if this is x, this is y, then z should be to my side, right? Z should be to my side. If you apply the right hand rule now, with your hand, if you do this rotation, you can find that uh, uh, omega will be also to your side. So it's in, in, in the positive k, all right? So I can guess, for example, that BC is in the positive, omega BC is in the positive k, while omega AB is in this direction, which means it is to your side, not to my side. To your side, this means that it is in minus k. So you can, from the figure and from the motion, guess what it should be, what is the direction of omega. Or you can keep it, as, I'm, as I will be doing now, you can keep it omega k, and then you can, def you can uh, know the direction from the sign of your answer. All right, guys? So what do I have here? The slider block C moves at 8 meters per second. So I know the velocity C. I know VC in vector form, in fact, because I also know this angle. So I can find VC and I and the J. And I need to determine the angular velocities of link AB and BC at the instant shot. Now, guys, in order to solve such a problem, the first step ever is to indicate the fixed point. Where do I have a fixed point here? Is it A, B, or C? Fixed point. It is A, yes. So A is a fixed point. B is rotating around A. And this, guys, <coughs> will make the equation of general plane motion much easier. Because, in fact, B is doing a pure rotation around A since A is fixed. In fact, guys, <clears throat> whenever I indicate the fixed point, I can start from it. How? I can write down the, the general equation for a, a, a plane motion, a general plane motion for a rigid body, okay, by relating any other point to A, all right? So I can say, for example, that 
Vp is equal in vector form is equal to Va and make sure guys that that it is plus V B with respect to A. Right? So V B with respect to A. And this means guys that V B is equal to zero because V A is zero guys. It's fixed plus omega B A or A B. Omega B A is the same as omega A B. Right, so it's the angular velocity of the road AB. K, I know that omega AB should be negative, all right? But I'm going to keep it as a positive value, as positive K, and then omega AB will give me a, a, a negative value. Cross, what is VB with respect to A? It's omega AB cross RB with respect to A. And guys, I want you to make sure To replace RB with respect to A. What is RB with respect to A? It's the position of B with respect to A. So it's AB and not BA, guys. If you put, if you substitute RB with respect to A by BA, then you're going to have a, an incorrect answer, right? So RB with respect to A is AB. I'm pointing towards B from A, right? So it's AB. So guys, this is a very important note. This is AB. All right, <clears throat> which means that VB is equal to omega AB K cross RB with respect to A, which is AB, and AB is 2I, all right? So it's in the positive direction of, of I. Now, how to do the cross product of K and I? Guys, you have two methods. Either to draw the circle, let's say I, J, K, and then if you have this positive direction, then you're going to have a positive answer. If you have a negative direction, then you're going to have a negative answer. Or you can write I, J, K twice. Right? I, J, K twice. If you are in this positive direction, then you're going to have a positive answer. And if you are in the opposite direction, then you're going to have a negative answer. So let's find out what is the answer here. I have K cross I. K cross I, all right? So K cross I is in the positive direction. So this is going to give me plus J. Now here also, K cross I is in the positive direction. I cannot say K cross I and skip J, all right? I have to do to do it in this way. K cross I is a positive J, right? So it's plus 2 omega ABJ. This is the answer of VB. VB is in J, and it's equal to 2 omega ABJ. All right, guys, <clears throat> which means B is moving in this direction. So, so this should be B. Okay, guys, I know now the velocity of VB. It's equal to 2 omega ABJ. <clears throat> How to continue? How to continue, guys? I know that VB is equal to 2 omega ABJ, but I cannot find omega AB from this equation. I need another equation that allows me to find omega AB as well as omega BC. <clears throat> How to continue, guys? B, in fact, is a common point between the road AB and BC. So now if I apply the same equation between B and C, I can also have another equation. In fact, it will give me another vector equation, which means two scalar equations in I and J. So I'm going to now apply the same equation between B and C. <coughs> so VC or VB, you can start by VC or by VB, is equal to VB plus omega BC now. cross R C with respect to B. And what is R C with respect to B? Don't forget, guys, that R C with respect to B is B C. 
All right, guys? So it's BC. So if I go back, back as BC, it's minus 2J. So let's substitute them. VC is known, it's 8 sine 45 I minus 8 cosine 45 J because in fact, VC is down a bit. So it is 8 sine 45 I minus 8 cosine. 45 j and this is equal to vb that i have already found in terms of omega ab so it's 2 omega ab j plus omega bck so omega is always in k plus or minus cross rcb which is equal to what did we say M minus 2j So let's do, guys, this cross product, K cross J. So again, either to do it using this method, IJK here is in positive direction, or you can write IJK twice, it is the same. All right, so I'm gonna find K cross J. If I do this k cross j, so I'm going back in the negative direction, so it will be minus i. And same goes here, guys. k cross j is minus i. All right? So k cross j is minus i. Okay? So this means, guys, that the equation became a sign. 45i minus 8 cosine 45j is equal to 2 omega ab j minus i minus 2j is a plus plus 2 Omega BCI. Now, guys, this equation will give me two scalar equations, one in I. So I know if two vectors are equal, then their components in I will be equal, and their components in J will be equal, all right? So in I, what do I have in I? I have this term here. And this term here. And this means, guys, that 8 sine 45 will be equal to 2 omega BC. And this means that omega BC is equal to 4 radical 2 over 2, or 2 radical 2 positive, right? So it's in the positive k. So I can find omega BC. And in J, I have minus 845j is equal to 2 omega abj, which means minus 8 cosine 45 is equal to 2 omega ab. So ab, omega ab is in the negative, in the negative k, all right? So that's why I have a negative factor. Right? So from this vector equation, I can have two equations, one in I and one in J, so that I can solve for two unknowns that are omega BC and omega AB. Right, guys? Do you have any questions?